Hey guys! So, I did some brainstorming this weekend, and I came up with an excellent idea. I'm gonna start a rock band. Who wants it? Yes, Michael! Yes! Yes! No, no. Dwight, please, just don't. Come on, Pam. You know you want to be a part of this. You know, Michael, I would love to, but, uh, I have a lot of important plans coming up, so, no. Whatever, loser. Say, you know who would really dig this? Stanley, yeah, he could add an urban element to the music. You know what, Michael? What you just said is really inappropriate, and second of all, Stanley's not even here. Anybody else? Every rock band needs a lead singer. What do you say, Ryan? Sure, I can do that. All right, now we're talking. Phyllis, Philly, Philly. You want to be a groupie? Rock music is the devil's work. What's wrong with you guys? How many times in your life do you get asked to join a rock band? Not very often. I'm Michael. You can't just form a rock band. There's rules of. Uh, shut up, Toby. Honestly, you are the most no, annoying. To Toby's right, Michael. Your idea is pointless and nonsensical as usual. Hey, hey Michael, I I actually don't think I can do the band either. All right, you, you know what? You know what? Band idea is off. Yeah. It was going to be all about the music and the teamwork, but you all had to go screw it up. God. in all the land. It'll kill you all. It is the silent killer, the harbinger of death. And now it's here. It was in New York and now it's here. I think you're overreacting. No. Ebola is here. It will kill you all. It is the flying squirrel of death. Ebola is like a parasite. It'll ruin you all. It was in New York and now it's, it's here. This extreme behavior exhibited by Dwight is usually the norm for us. Usually I'd just prove him wrong and he'd be disappointed, then he'd suck at his desk. But I think I can have some fun with this Ebola scare. Why let a perfect opportunity go to waste? Dwight, the United States has the most advanced and efficient medical system in the whole world. I'm sure that this Ebola threat will be contained with ease. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. You're missing the point. Don't you realize how much supplies we get from the New York office here? Guys, look what I found. It's here. Michael, Ebola is here, in the office. It was in New York, and now it's here. Really? I love that band. What? You remember that hit song they had? Every rose has its dawn, just like every night has its dawn. Are there any groupies outside? Or shrieking fangirls? No, Michael, you're thinking of the glam metal band Poison. Ebola is a deadly virus and will kill us all. We all have a virus? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. I know, it's terrible. There's no money in the IT budget for this. Corporate's gonna kick my ass. It's not my fault I send so many email forwards. I, I just think they're funny. Now all the computers are infected. Oh, God. Maybe we could say it's Toby's fault, right? Like he was looking at something he wasn't supposed to. The creep. Michael, Ebola is not a computer virus. It is a people virus, and it will kill us all unless you act now. There are people? Yeah. And they need me? Yeah. Or else we're all gonna die? 
In times of crisis, people in the office have often turned to me for guidance. I like to think of myself as their Superman, or Mahatma Gandhi, maybe even Jesus. They just say, oh, Michael, you're so wise, what would you do? Or, Michael, how would you solve this? And I would just sit them down and lead them to the right path. I mean, I've had this gift when I was young when it comes to solving emergencies. People from all around town would come to me. Every time I dialed 911, these guys in uniforms would show up at my house. They'd tell me stories about crying wolves and children. I don't know. I'm kind of a genius. And this office needs a front man. Like in the band. Not the lead singer. He has his stuff to do. No. The real hero. The guitarist. I and the guitarist of this office. Hey guys, listen, uh, Dwight told me that we have a bit of a situation here in the office and you all need my help. Michael, we've all been infected. Well, if you ask me, we've been infected a long time ago, ever since they stopped putting the crosses up at the Christmas parties. And when little Miss Sunshine over here started sleeping around with so many men like a whore in Babylon. Thank you, Angela. Michael, we need to do something. There's a possible outbreak of Ebola in the office. Oh, Pam. What is Ebola? What does it mean? We can get through this. I've survived a number of third world diseases. Mostly, I got them when I was a homeless man. Living on the streets of this here Scranton, Pennsylvania. Or is it Arkansas? No, the Canadians are doing too well for this to be Arkansas. Anyway, I got through my issues by every once in a while stopping by Rite Aid and buying those little candies my daughter calls Ben's Drills. I don't know. No, Michael, we need to pull a plan. How about but, we... Yeah, okay. You know what, Toby? I bet you're the reason why Ebola is even here. You're like the Black Plague, just white and divorced. But Michael, he's right. We need a plan of action. Pam, we do not listen to Toby because to listen to him is like listening to the devil. He's like the guy in the white coats, always calling you up to make regular appointments so you can get all your shots up to date. Michael, those are your doctors and you should listen to them. Not if I eat an apple, Pam. Duh. So you're gonna like save me from the Tully Bullet thing, right? So last month, I ended my relationship with Kelly Kapoor, which was good. She has what I would consider commitment issues. You know, in elementary school they would say, first comes love, and then comes marriage, well for Kelly. That all happened within the first three minutes of our first date. So, I've been trying to avoid her. Oh my god, I love Ryan. We're going to be together forever. I want to have so many babies with him. I want to buy a house with him. I want to take out a second mortgage with him. I just want to be with him. Provided we survive this whole Ebola thing. Of course, which we will, because Ryan is like Superman. Why don't we focus on the issue at hand here? Shh! I'm thinking. You need to form a plan. Okay. What are you, Michael Scott, thinking we should do? Well, it's a bit of a doozy. I was thinking we could get in those guys from, like, ER and Grey's Anatomy and probably CSI, and we can have them solve this. I mean, we want the best, right? So, you want fictional characters from television to help resolve this problem? Well, yeah, doesn't everyone, Jim? Michael, that's a horrible idea. Nah, not the best plan. Mm. Nah. Mm. All right, all right. So what do you propose we do, Jim? Well... No, Michael, Jim's the one that caused this whole mess. You need to have me in charge. I don't know if it's come to that. I mean, what if it would be funny if this whole thing was just a joke? I mean, what does Ebola even do? This. It has come to my attention that this office is in complete shit. I mean deep shit. Like, the kind of shit that you would find in a barn full of horses. It's brown and yucky and I have to act now. But for the life of me, 
I don't know how. Michael, I know what to do. Oh, you know what to do? How can anyone know what to do? Yes, I know what to do. I've been studying this disease ever since the first outbreak in Africa. I just don't understand. Look, come on. Look at me. No. Come on, look at me. Jim has opened the Pandora's box and unleashed hellfire upon this office. Just give me control and I will take care of everything. Just give me control. Give me the power. Give you the power? Give me the power. Everybody, conference room. Now. It has come to my attention that Ebola is in the office. But we do not need to die today. So that's why I'm handing over the reins of power to Dwight here. All right, everyone. I'm implementing a quarantine. I'm going to have to lock all doors and all windows, nobody enters, and nobody leaves. I'm going to have to ration all supplies and food, and I'm going to do regular inspections to make sure this disease has not gone to any places we do not want it to be. How could we let this happen? You know this is not a joke, right? Really? I've been in these situations before. Two men walk in, one man walks out. Wait, what? what? We're going to die. Everyone, calm down. Okay, these things work best when we're all calm and rational. Right. And first measure, we contain Toby. Because he is the number one killer. Of our joy, that is. Done. <laughs> if anyone presents symptoms, you will meet the same fate as Toby. This is martial law here, people. We are throwing out the Bill of Rights. We are throwing out the Geneva Convention. This is serious. This is now. For now, we will all get back to working and try not to worry too much. Dwight has this under control. You want us to work at a time like this? How can we possibly concentrate with everything going on? I agree with Pam. How can we possibly concentrate with all this going on? Pam, Phyllis, I'm asking not to worry about it. Dwight is the perfect person to handle a situation like this. Oh my god, oh my god, when is this going to be over? So what do we have here? Don't touch him! He's mine now, under the authority of the quarantine. I don't think Jesus would approve of that. Attention everyone! Due to the recent outbreak, all religious items and emblems and symbols are hereby prohibited. Where's Michael? Hello. Hello. Jan? We have a situation here in the office. I need you to come down as soon as possible. Jim has opened a box from Pandora, and I guess there was a poisonous bracelet inside and we're all gonna die? I, I don't know. Talking about? Jan, if I don't make it out of this alive, I just want you to know I love you. Michael, that doesn't even make any sense. I'm ending this conversation. Goodbye. When is this all going to be over? Hey, uh, uh, guys, um, I did some research on the whole Bola thing, and I found out that we have a 0% chance of survival. Oh, no! What? Okay, everyone. We need to stay calm. Order and discipline are the key thing to any well-balanced society. You know what I like to do in a time like this? Talk about it. Jim, what is your biggest regret in life? Probably having this conversation right now. Okay, fair enough. Um, Creed? My biggest regret is not hooking up with that Walter White guy. I hear he's making a killing in Albuquerque right now. I want to in. Okay, that is weird. Um, Kelly? My biggest regret is not marrying Ryan Howard when I had the chance. I was going to name our first child Ryan Jr., even if it was a girl. Okay. My biggest regret is not going to be able to say another that's what she said joke. How about you, Ryan? Okay, Michael. I never thought I'd say this, but uh, if we make it out of here alive, I'll join your band. Wow. Power of disease, man. Enough of this. We need to find a way to take care of this now. You know, one way to resolve all this is to find a treatment for Ebola. Yes, I need a drug. 
experimental, recreational, foreign, psychoactive, I can get them all for a really cheap price. No. I need a real drug. This is my grandmother's shrewd secret recipe for dealing with ailments. I had just a little Drano for punch. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Toy, what are you doing? You realize you can kill someone with this, right? That's just a risk we'll have to take, Jim. Attention, everyone. I will not hesitate to inject anyone who presents symptoms. Okay, guys. Dwight has Drano in that needle. So I suggest we all calmly and slowly walk out of the office and pretend none of this ever happened. No! Nobody leaves. If you leave, you can risk contaminating the entire city. Jim's right. This is not safe. No! There will be no dissenters. Pam, I always knew you'd side with him in the end. Dwight, calm down. No, I will not. I think I'm going to. <coughs> what are you doing with that needle? You are mine. No! Dwight, stop! You don't know what you're doing! I must! Stop! What in the name of hell are you doing? David, I am so happy that you showed up. I tried my best to stop them. Michael, what's going on here? I show up for a routine inspection, and I find you all trying to kill a fellow employee. And why was the door locked? And why are the windows all shut? And where is Toby? David, I can explain. Kelly was infected with the deadly virus Ebola and put the whole office at risk. That's the most pathetic story I've ever heard. Dwight, that's not how Ebola is spread. It's not airborne. And besides, if you were all truly exposed to it, you would be presenting symptoms and severe symptoms more than just Kelly, who appears to be suffering from nothing more than the common cold. But what about the box from New York? This box appears to be full of nothing more than paper and pencils. You people astonish me. Today, I will be remembered as a hero. When all seemed lost and everyone doubted me, I led this office to the gates of heaven. I like to think of myself along the same lines as a drummer in a rock band. They say the drummer is the main force, the drive behind the music. When everybody else in the band completely sucks, the drummer fills in the gap with a kick-ass solo. So yeah, I would make an awesome drummer. I have no regrets for my actions on this day. I recognized an immediate threat and destroyed it. Dwight Schrute does what Dwight Schrute always does. Simple as that. Well, the prank was pretty entertaining for me until Kelly almost got killed. But, although it got a little out of hand, we all ended up alive by the end of the day, right? Thus, Dwight was proven wrong. Again. Well, what can I say? Today was fun to watch. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Michael. Uh, I don't think I can...